Yo, YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy, Kai X Limitless. And we back with another one. We're talking about Kyrie. So we just did a video talking about how Kyrie um, is under the process, of, you know, the cancellation process of like how they did Kanye West. And, you know, you say anything about the Jewish people or talk about their culture, um, they would quickly flag you with the word anti-semitic so after um Kyrie um he dropped a video or he dropped a link on Twitter to a movie that was on Amazon about the Jewish people in slavery right uh, after he did that um they flagged him as anti-semitic and they trying to do him like they did Kanye and they dropped him from the Nike deal. He lost his Nike deal and suspended from the NBA until he does the following, right? So they just now uh drop the list of items that Kyrie must complete to return to the team. So they, let's see it. To return to the Nets, he must apologize and condemn the movie, right? Um, which is ridiculous. He has to apologize for a movie that he didn't create or he didn't even condone the movie. Right. He just posted the link. Um, he just shared, shared some information. He didn't even say anything about it. He he could, you know, he we don't even know his opinions on the movie. Um, number two, he must donate five hundred thousand to anti hate causes. Um, I don't even know if he said anything hateful. He didn't say anything. So this is. Number two is ridiculous. Sensitivity training. That's ridiculous. Anti-Semitic training. Uh, what type of training does he need to be to be anti-Semitic if nothing he did was anti-Jew, Jewish people? He posted a movie about the history of the Jewish people. Now they say meet with ADL Jewish leaders. Meet with Joe Tassi to demonstrate understanding. Um, yeah, this is ridiculous, right? I don't think, um, Kyrie's going to do this because I know he, he wants to continue to play basketball, but that's ridiculous. And if the whole league, man, really stood together and band together and to really fight that, because that's ridiculous. Um, even with Kanye, you know, even though he did say the DevCon 3 comment that, it just goes too far with this whole mixture of cancel culture and throwing this anti-Semitic word around. Um, and there's a very uh, damaging word once they call you that anti-Semitic word. And now nobody wants to do business with you. You're like blacklisted, um, especially when black men say anything about the Jewish people. So, um, wow, it's just really crazy. Like it really shows you. Um, the truth about the cancel culture is like even he already apologized as well. Kyrie Irving already apologized for the link and the you know the upset that happened after he posted it. But they don't want they want more than an apology. They want to humiliate you. They want to make you an example. They want to um, make a statement after after they do something like this, right? So um, what do y'all think Kyrie should do? He's most likely going to go through this list. And, um, you know, they make Nick Cannon do this, too. They make you do these things. Um, it's like a sentence. You got to do community service, you know, to redeem yourself in the, 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 you know, society. And especially with the Jewish people, they make you do these things once you just even talk about their culture. Right. So let me know what you all think in the comment box. I think Kyrie should do these things. He's already apologized. I say, what more do they want from? Let me know in the comment box, and we out.